coordinate geometry. Review of points of a triangle, and we're gonna be looking at some major key terms that you need to know in terms of coordinate geometry. So, coordinate geometry. Review of the points of the triangle. The median, okay? What is the median? Well, if we take one point of the vertex and we look at um, really the corner here, this is what we call the vertex of the triangle. And if we take the vertex of the triangle and we draw a line to the opposite line, okay, we are going to be looking at drawing a line from the vertex to the midpoint, okay, to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay. So here's our midpoint of the opposite side, which means with these hash marks that we have, both of these sides are equal in length. Okay. And that is what we call the median. So this line here is known as the median. The centroid is the point where all the medians intersect. So if we were to draw the, uh, find the midpoint from other vertex points of the triangle and we were to draw to the midpoint of let's say this side or we found the midpoint of this side, we would find out that this length would be equal to that length and that this length here will be equal to that length. And where all of them meet together at that one point here that we've labeled as point O, this is what we call the centroid. Okay? And the centroid is pretty much the location in which all these points, okay, uh, all the medians, okay, so we're looking at pretty much three medians, okay, three medians making up the point and it'll be at the equal spot. Altitude. The altitude is a line drawn from a vertex that goes perpendicular to the opposite side. So if we take one of the vertex points here of the triangle and we draw a line that is perpendicular, meaning that it makes this 90 degree angle with the opposite side. That is what we call the altitude. And if we draw the altitudes from the other vertex points, from this vertex point, okay, at a 90 degree angle here, from this vertex point forming a 90 degree angle here, they all meet at one point, which is called the orthocenter, and the orthocenter is the point where the altitudes intersect. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is there is no midpoint, okay? It is all based on 90 degree angles. Perpendicular bisector. So here we have our triangle. And what we do is we create a line perpendicular to one side. So a line through the midpoint of one of the sides at a 90 degree angle. Okay. So notice here these hash marks here that we draw. And sometimes you'll see your teacher draw these hash marks on, uh, on a square, rectangle, um, a line. It shows that this side is going to be the same length as this side. So what this perpendicular bisector means, really, well, think of perpendicular. And when we, we think of perpendicular, we think of two lines crossing at a 90 degree angle, okay? At a 90 degree angle. This one is a bisector, meaning it's separating into two equal sides. Now, the circumcenter is the point where the perpendicular bisectors intersect, okay? And so what we have here is we've drawn perpendicular lines. Um, that's, that's blue. 
okay? Perpendicular lines here, but they're perpendicular, again, to the midpoint, which means we have the, these hash marks that represent these two sides are equal, which means, well, these two here must be equal along this line here, and that these are equal to one another based on this line here with respect to where this perpendicular bisector crosses. Okay, and so that circumcenter is the point in which they all meet. Angle bisector. Well, it's a line which bisects one of the angles into two equal angles. So what we're doing is we're taking from one vertex point and we're making sure that the angle, this angle here, is going to equal this angle. Okay? And if we do the same, and this angle here is the same as this angle here, and this angle here the same as this angle here. So what we're doing is we're cutting from the vertex into equal angles within the angle of the vertex. Okay, so within this angle of the vertex, we are cutting it in half. And so if we draw all these angle bisectors from each vertex point, okay, they will all intersect at what we call here the in center. 